today on the Venturous Velo Toros, we're gonna be putting the um, heat liner here, preparing the bathroom, uh, our shower. That way we can. So you're putting a little slope there for water. our shower yes. bench. Ew. This will help the, the water just rolls off very easily. Hallelujah! 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 Sure have our puppy dog supervising. Everything looking okay, sir? Yeah, when I, when I went to Adam's house, he, he said he's pitching his What size hole did you make there for that drain? No, I just, uh, uh, it's, uh, 4 3 quarters all the way around, but then you have to go a half inch all the way around to rest below the wood. Mm, for the edges? Yes, that to way fit the, in. the water has some little slope. Oh yeah. Alright. What you doing, Smith? I'm just gonna make some fun for See the bag that says blended mason mix. Those are the ingredients that you need when you mix it with water. Well, it has to dry and harden, and then it will be super hard like a rock. That's what we see when we walk on the sidewalk. That's the concrete. So this is made of different ingredients. We can read on the side of the bag to see exactly. So the Daddy concrete. has about like four or five hours. Well. I'm sure every uh, bag has a different finish type, so sometimes it dries quick, sometimes it takes time. Usually you have a little bit of time to mix it and place it where you need to place it. We'll get the, uh, we'll get the red line.
Yes. some plywood for the wall, for our little storage box, our, our bench, there we go, there we go, okay, concrete set in there, I'm going to put the headliner in for the shower, put out there, mom, it's, 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 uh, Via Toros, uh, we put in the, the rubber liner uh, for the shower and, uh, and then we're going to start putting the floor and that's going to be it for today guys, hope you like it.
waiting for it to set so we can finish doing bottom of well the rest of our walk-in shower. shower. Waiting for the concrete to set. We have put in the uh, pan liner. This is the bench for our walk-in shower. We're just waiting for this concrete to set overnight. Tomorrow we'll come back, check it, make sure it's all dry. Then we can put the um, next layer, the, the mortar on top, and then we're thinking to do either a, a rock bottom uh, or tile. We're still kind of up in the air how we're going to do the, the floor of our walk-in shower. Uh, for the, the sides, we're thinking to do a uh, tin along the back wall here, or we may just do tile. We're wanting to do uh, right here a little soap shelf. So um, we're thinking to tile this wall so that we could tile the soap box in. And then uh, there will be a wall here for the door. This would be uh, either tile or tin. And this is actually going to be where our shower head will, will go here. Um, and then we'll have the rest of our fixtures there. This will be another wall right here. So we still have to put the backer board in. That will be another level of protection for water. And we will keep you up to date on the next the next step in our walk-in shower, here is our door, the door to our shower. It's looking great. I'm happy for progress. Soon there will be a full walk-in Yeah, I was thinking to do something simple. Just put the stone. See the stone?
shower, Sweeney? Uh huh. Yes. Just for me, though. Hmm. shower on the Venturist Villa Toros. We decided to go with some uh, white, I'll show you, and gray. We wanted to do something different and um, these colors uh, pretty much go with our color choice for our color theme, our scheme, um, our palette, if you will, for the bus. So it just made sense. Uh, we've already started to frame here the um, window seals and so we're really excited to uh, we already have the bench we decided to do the bench um, all white and then we will just um, do like a pattern of gray and white and with the materials that we have left we're actually gonna use those for our back flat backsplash for the kitchen and we're also going to use some for the composting toilet room for our back wall. And on the other side of our shower wall here, uh, here we're going to have a fire stove. Uh, so we will go ahead and tile this area so that it will help with the heat. Um, we'll have a, a chute that goes um, up through our, our roof here and so we'll be keeping this protected from heat. Um, it's actually going to be on top of our, our stove that we um, are going to be using because we'll actually use our wood stove to cook. So during the winter months we'll have this up. When it's summer we'll just take it down and then we can um, cook outside if we would like to. Uh, we could cook on the grill um, or we could just use our regular stove top. So we'll have some options there. We are finishing the other side wall here, doing the back back wall here where the fixtures go. Something really nice. Later we'll put some routing in here. We're trying to fix the floor. Doing some more tiling on the shower, Sunny? Uh, yes. How's it going? Good, trying to get it done, my sweetheart. Okay. You're putting the tile for the uh, faucet there? Yes. All right. Hello.
You show you your second love when you do this. That's right. Dada. Thank you. 